Hi YouTube, I hope you're doing good. I'm doing okay, I decided to do a pattern break and get my video done a little earlier today. So um, sometimes that just throws a wrench out in the ether for the dark cabal. Yeah, if you can um, change something in your daily routine, it sort of gives you a fresh start in different ways. At least I've found that to be true. Um, uh, Archaics channel, Jason over there, he, he does things like that too. And he's found it beneficial. So that's what I'm doing today. So um, somebody had asked if there, I was saying that there was two creation stories or if I was talking about that not in my last video but um in the uh Torah there's eight books of Moses but there's five of them um composed or compiled or compressed or um um congealed <laughs> in, in in the Torah and in the book of Genesis, first Genesis and second Genesis, there's two different accounts of how Eve was either brought to Adam or she was taken from him. You can't have it both ways. Then um, that, that he was... Uh, made and all the animals were brought before him and then Eve was brought before him. You see, um, there's more to it too. You can check it out. There's more. Those are just a, a few idiosyncrasies that it really can't be both ways, you know, and to be taken from somebody's side once again is like if somebody comes in here and takes me, you know, because there is, um, there, there's kidnapping and rape that are associated with this cover-up that's going on in the hijacked Christian religion. And those of us that have the Christ spirit in us are adamant about proving this. And that brings me to, um, Israeli News Live had, uh, he is trying to, just a minute, Nelly, get down, get down, get down off there, just a minute, my cat is, oh, get down, don't go up there again, oh, sorry about that, um, yeah, uh, Okay, if you take a yoda or a digamma and place it somewhere where it's indicating whether it's a noun or a verb, and if it's a person, place, or thing, and it's placed in the wrong area, you cannot describe a Greek word in the Hebrew language. You cannot move a yoda or a digamma above a letter and have it mean the same thing. And you can't add vowels like they do to describe their original Greek Septuagint. It's as simple as that. We have these so-called scholars out there that study Hebrew that don't know enough about the ancient Greek, not the, not the modern Greek and not the modern Hebrew. I'm talking about the ancient language that I am studying now so I can prove this stuff. And if you are interested, there's there's channels like um, Old Boy, A-U-L-D, Boy, and Lady Babylon. These are people that are not just scholars, but people that have actually learned an ancient language so they can bring to the scriptures to you uh, the way they are written for your health care and your spiritual care. And it doesn't leave you hanging on what something means. It gives you the definitive of, of the health 
the medical texts that are actually what the scriptures are. So this, this is what we're trying to prove. And if people are just going to ignore it, well, you know what side they're working for. They're not working on the truth. So anyway. Yeah. Let's see what else is going on. Mm. Somebody had told a Native American, see, the most recent uh, broken treaty was in Oklahoma not that long ago, just in 92, I believe. Somebody had told a Native American person to go get back on their reservation. Oh, it's like when people go, say, if you don't like it here, go, ba go where you, back where you came from. Well, I think the Natives could tell you people that. I'm still not going to rest easy till there's justice for the people in their own country. Like we have armies going out and worrying about other people's countries while we're effing over the red man. And that just, it doesn't sit right with me. It never will. If people can just ignore that justice isn't being served in our own country and the natives should be in charge of their own country. Oh yeah, there's great minds. Scientists, lawyers, doctors, every walk of life that the natives don't don't um, take money from the government. They make their own way. And besides that, whose country is it? Whose, con whose government should it be? You think real hard on that. I don't think you have to think, I don't think you have to dig too deep for the justice of it all, do you? So. Yeah, it's irritating. You can lay, lay proof right out in the front of people and tell them exactly what it is. And for their own greed and egos, they'll just remain where they are. And what they're going to get is what they're going to deserve, too. So, probably isn't going to be so nice for them, but that's the way it's going to be. So, anyway. Oh, last night was sort of a bummer. I was on a live stream. I had popped in and told everybody I loved them and then uh, waited for it to start. So, I was listening to somebody else while waiting for it to start. And... They were a little late. I think they were having internet problems. And then when I went to uh, join the live stream, it had already started. But my my page, I had the page open and I was waiting for it to start and it never loaded. So it's like about 15 minutes late on the whole thing. And I wanted to pay attention and get the gist of the whole thing. But I knew I had to start from the beginning. So I just picked it up where they were and then just waited till it was all done and then um, went to the very beginning of the thing. So that was over on Lady Babylon. So, yeah, it was sort of a bummer because they had been on vacation and I had waited all week for it. It's like, dang, oh, well. But we do have, I believe, our Wednesday night uh ancient greek lesson <laughs> sorry but it's so perturbing to know that um uh three thousand years ago scriptures were written in greek two thousand years ago they were hijacked by the dark cabal and you just can't make people realize that they're just like uh duh um Oh, we like the Hebrew because they're the chosen people. Yeah, they're better than us because God chose them. You know, just that attitude. It's like, wow, how self-righteous can you get? You're not even Jewish. You don't live in Israel. And you're, you're abiding by a people that God is angry with. Why would you follow somebody that is in jeopardy with God. Just think about that for a minute. Yeah, they're going to be okay eventually, but just think about 
what's in between there with your soul, not theirs. Does that take God out of your heart? Oh, well, yeah, and then he wasn't there anyway. You know? If you can't learn something new, even if you think you're a scholar, <laughs> I don't know what you think you are, but you're certainly not a theologian. I was trained as a theologian a long time ago by the Masons. And my name is in the Book of Gematria, handwritten when, and that's what the real book is. It is not out here online at all. But you'll still find several of my names in there. Yeah, they couldn't scrub them all. They couldn't cover them all up. So, yeah, I'm there. Why? Because I'm a voice from God for you, that's why. So anyway. So important. I mean, you can't change vowels. So you go changing vowels, taking ones out and adding ones in and putting like a yod on top of, in the middle of a, a word, making an entirely different word or taking one word in the Greek and two of them in Hebrew to make something entirely different. We've proven this over and over and over again. And these knuckleheads will not listen to it because of their greed. That's what it's all about. Trying to control the Christ spirit that's inside of people with their Judaism. And you would follow that? I don't get it. You know, I really don't. pretty important concerning the future of the people in the world and that's why there's warriors like me out there proving this stuff and I will get good enough to explain this more clearly I'm getting there you know I've known it for 50 some years the truth you know well, I've known the truth since the day I was born. I was born truthful, you know. Don't think they didn't try to interject on that or make me somebody I wasn't. Because, yeah, they did. You know how many scummy people have done shitty things around me and tried to make me participate in their little, little, um, orgiastic mind, you know, to put it, put it exactly what it is, that I would be included in their filth somehow by association, by proxy. Wow. That's almost like, okay, say I have like the hounds of hell at my back and call, but I don't call them. It's just that if somebody does something crappy to me, they go devour you. Is that my doing or yours? Do you see? People don't have to call on Satan for him to go and devour you for something stupid. You know, that's the way it works. If you're, if you truly are a person of God, you're protected like that. That's why I say, you know, be careful what you're putting out there in the ether because your every thought and action and movement is recorded. And if you do something grievance, grieve it, grievance towards somebody, that's a tattoo on your soul. You're stained with it. And and it's picked up ethereal and, and those warriors can... Um, recognize that energy in you so when I recognize that energy in people it's like you do have a chance to stop it you know you know that uh, there is a peaceful voice trying to reach you and talk to you that you're ignoring and it's not a wise decision you know 
anything. Oh. Yeah, I get a kick out of people telling, telling, go back on the reservation. Oh, you motherfucker, you're glad, you're lucky I didn't hear that shit. I'd show you what a reservation was. Wow. Can you imagine somebody saying that to somebody in their own country? Go back in your cage. Go back to that shitty land that, that the invaders left you the worst of everything. Go back and stay there. Ooh. Like I said, lucky people. I There's nobody that stupid around me. Not anymore. <laughs> people are really careful what they oh there's a lot of people say things right over this internet but I know you're not going to come up to me and say it to my face you might think you will and there's a lot of men who always thought they'd try that's always fun that's I enjoy it Doug, Doug just delights in that shit yeah I used to wonder why. Why doesn't he say anything? Well, there's two reasons. Um, it's his nature to eat you alive. And it's also his nature to want me to um, act like that also. But I don't typically just, I never attack anybody first, never. And I usually give people more than one chance. But if you're stupid enough to cross that several times, you'll be devoured with my words. You, you will not be able to stand in front of me and hold your head up with your bullshit and your lies. People. Think what you want. But these scholars out there that don't dig deeper, that it, when they're going to ignore the truth for their own gains, and we're going to prove that this made-up religion of Judaism, that certain Christian sects, not all of them, but certain ones are following, it's satanic. And we'll we'll prove that. So and then Satan can have your stupid ass because he deserve it. That's that's my feelings. Nowadays these these men typically are stay down, Nelly. I said stay down. They uh, I mean it, girl. Go lay down. So anyway, um. They're typically men that are trying to make money, like out here on the internet, with their supposed knowledge. But it's a script. It's a, it's a play script. It's not the actual truth. It's not the meaning of the stories that were passed down from ancient times. It's not the truth. taking Greek names and, and taking little snippets out of it, like, uh, Adam on and turning it into Adam, you know, and then changing the meaning of it from a female verb into a male one with their little Di taking out of a digamma and a vowel to make it their own. This is how it was done. And yeah, the Masons taught me all this for a reason. And it's all coded within the scriptures. That's the kick in the ass. Yeah, the truth is in there. It's hidden. But wouldn't you want to hear it in the original language without having to guess what something means? 
that makes a big difference. It really does. And I know very few people that have read the Bible in its entirety, let, let, not even once, let alone like a half a dozen times or in different languages. And where the Latin came in to start to convert that, um, that's a fucking trip to. I mean, the migration of the truth and how it was taken away from every time it got further away from the mother language. You know, but do you care? <laughs> you know? Yeah. You really care about your creator? Or is it just something you like to say? You know? People are like, um, Tell God you're grateful. Oh, shut up. You don't mean a word of it. Shut the fuck up. You're not grateful for shit. You know? Most people are not. Well, go ahead and say whatever you want, but the truth is, I can instinctively feel your feelings, so you can say whatever you want to say. Like they say, words don't mean anything, do they? So that's the importance of, uh, and people can say, well, I've read it in Greek. No, you haven't. You can't read Greek. Don't tell me you can. You can't even speak Hebrew fluently. Stop it. Stop your lying. Anybody can take a Hebrew scripture and put it next to the English one and, and play your clown show shit. But you cannot pick up ancient Greek and read the original Septuagint. Stop it. You're lying to people. There's even more accurate information out of Germany than a lot of places. Or in Ethiopia. Than there is with the Hebrew bullshit. Liars. Thieves. Murderers. And there's one other subject I wanted to talk on today. A lot of us have um, forefathers, ancestors that fought in wars, and um, or police officers or whatever type of service these people went into. All well and fine that they thought they were defending something, but you are not defending your own people in another country. So what we do there is, yes, we say we honor our forefathers, but we do not give them a pass on what the government did to them. And it's time people realize that. So, anyway. a big deal too. It is. We don't belong in anybody else's country. There's the United Nations for that. And here's another thing too. This will fry you out. If it doesn't, you're not normal. Did you know that the United Nations denied the Navajo Nation, the Navajo Indians in the United States of America, a sovereign people onto their selves, was denied participation in the United Nations. Well, so was Russia, but uh, the Navajo came up with the code that saved everybody in World War II. No big deal, though. You know, talk about injustice. And denied. You think they wouldn't be warriors to keep people safe in other countries? That's what the United Nations is supposed to be for. And our army was created to defend our country, not other people's. 
Can I get that through your head at all? Like the National Guard? Just like that. That's why we have border um, authorities and Coast Guard and the rest that is to defend our country. The United Nations is to defend, defend other people's countries. Now, it's said that um, even local police force or police officers in individual states, and it wouldn't n name the state because I had looked it up, that they had had separate uniforms that they were a part of the United Nations and they were ready to be deployed at certain times or whatever. I couldn't find any evidence of that, whether it was a rumor or not. I went on the United Nations website and I tried to search for that topic and I couldn't find anything about police officers having UN uniforms that were separate from their official police officer uniforms, but it's, that doesn't mean it isn't true. It said that there were two separate states that were associated with the UN, but it wouldn't name the states. It did cite um, Washington, D.C. as being involved. Washington, D.C. is not a state. It's not a part of the United States. I want them up out of here. The District of Columbia, go away. Go far. Did you know Lady Justice Athena is in our White House and most of our government buildings? She's blind. She doesn't need to see you to feel what you're doing. That's the justice of the whole thing. That's blind justice. That's a gift from God. And that's what I'm all about. So, if you're into exposing liars and stopping criminals and murders and wars, then you want to stop trying to be a Jew. I have Jewish grandchildren. I am not anti-Jewish because this is uh, part of myself that the world has tried to kill that they just can't get rid of. And four granddaughters, not just one, like me, but four of them. Wow, pretty cool, right? Yeah, talk about the forces. Yeah, but anyway, that was for somebody in particular that um, is concerned that that energy may dissipate. Don't worry about it. It's there and it's set. Yeah. <laughs> you should see my oldest granddaughter. Ooh. And the second oldest. Oh my goodness. These little girls <laughs> are something else. Wow. Anyway, I have step-grandsons, but um, I set in the motion where that bloodline that annihilates little boys and turns them into monsters for Satan would never be able to have another offspring male ever again. And guess what? They haven't. And they won't. Who could do that? Say you're not going to have any boys and make that so. Is that a fairy tale? Am I lying to you in some way? Not at all. I mean... I'm not so certain that the mothers are so happy about that with me, but 
once they got to understand the reason why, I think they're a little happier than they might have been at the beginning. And it wasn't out of hatred for anybody. It was out of love for the world. And then to make it where men that were gifted with the female energy, her gifts, won't be able to operate within that realm with those gifts because they were stolen. And it was a um, incestual pedophilic or pedophilic um, situation that that they tried to take what's a gift from God, take a part of God and use it for their own, for controlling human beings and hurting them instead of the, the nature and the love of what they would call pornea or porn, the, the love, the drive, that comes from the woman and turned it into something filthy instead of leaving it in the family where it belonged. Not in the family, but for the families through the mothers. But men think that that's a good idea to have that, that femininity and that, that um, drive that she initiates. You know. So anyway, things are in the plan to make sure that that's not going to happen again. And um, what people are going to have to go through because they thought it was uh, no big deal to steal and lie and murder and rape to get what they wanted. They're going to find out that there's, there's some big prices to pay to the person you took that from. Or tried to take it from, I should say. These are things, what I'm telling you right now, these are things that you will read in the original scriptures. Not the fake Dead Sea Scrolls, say what you want. But there were Hebrew scribes that were taking the Greek text and changing it. To suit themselves, taking another people's story and trying to make it their own. And we're going to prove this. We're taking our text back. We're storming the temple, the synagogue of Satan and taking our text back. That's what's going on. And anybody that gets in the way of that will be crushed. That's the true apocalypse, is learning the truth, the unveiling. That's right now. That's what we're living in. You'd be wise to join the wedding team. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, you know. Unless a life of servitude in prison appeals to you, because that's what murderers and child rapists get. Unless you think that they should walk free for hurting people. I don't. If I had my way, they wouldn't be walking at all, let alone talking. Not that I'd want their life to end, no. It's like I wish people a very long life, probably longer than you want it to be. Well, I'm going to get this uploaded. I am, like usual, just speaking my mind, but um, try not to tread on it because it's not pretty. I'm coming after these people, and so are other ones that believe in justice and truth. And once again, 
with that um, hero worship with your soldiers. Good luck with that. If somebody's right beside me, they're getting hurt. I'll be the first one there. You probably won't have a chance to strike back with me around. But would I go somewhere else and do something? I had uh, taken the Air Force test two different times, almost went. First, my adopted parents wouldn't let me go. But I, so I took him to court and got emancipated. Um, wasn't able to go in then. The second time I had already given birth to my oldest son and the way their dad was acting. And I, I passed that test with officer status. That's where my mind is. That's how I tested out on everything. I'm talking about electronics, mechanics, geometry, biology, all of it, all of it, all the sciences, top grade, but I didn't go because I, my, my child would have been in big danger. I just couldn't do it. Well, what really did it is he came home from one of his so-called excursions without my car that I had paid for and handed me the keys and said that something had happened to it. Yeah, it got sold. Probably made a copy of the keys or whatever it was, but left me carless with a child that was under one years old. And I was about ready to go in the service as a conscientious observer to take care of my family. What a stupid woman I was, right? Well, and then I heard too many stories about conscientious people being forced into the front line against their will. So I wasn't going to participate. So there's too much dirty, dirty stuff in the military. And if you don't know that, then you don't know who they're working for, who they serve, whenever you're willing to kill another human being. I mean, training to combat is probably my favorite thing I've ever done in my life. But to actually go into another country with the intentions of using that skill, that's a crime on your soul. It's intentional. It's what you want. That's part of who you are. I'm not talking about the draft when people were drafted into the war. I'm talking about the voluntary. So just think on it. Whatever. Whatever. You worship your heroes all you want. So, okay, everybody. Have a really good night or day wherever you're at. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA.